Hi. Uh, as people get seated, I just want to welcome you all today. Um, we have foundation for our 33rd annual FD Day. For anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Faye Ginsberg, and in addition to my day job as a professor at NYU, it's my honor to serve as the president of the foundation for almost six years now and especially to be mother of Samantha Myers, my guide through the FD wilderness for almost three decades. Like everyone with familial dysautonomia, she deals with the significant challenges of living with all the instabilities that come with this condition. Despite this, she shares the astounding spirit, generosity, humor, and the kind of positive attitude common to everyone I have ever met with FD. <clears throat> Inspiring us to constantly intensify our efforts to support our outstanding medical team and researchers and all the other people who support this work. They have made it possible for us to have the largest number of adults living with this, condi this condition since it was first discovered in 1949. It's also really great to see so many members of our community here today. I think we have over 150 people from many different locations, LA, Baltimore, Israel. Uh, we're very excited to have everyone gathered here. In addition to the presentations, the event gives us time to talk to each other. It's why it's so hard to get you all into this room to meet new people and to renew long-standing friendships and learn about innovative developments that are expanding horizons for those living with FD every year. We're fortunate to have our talented and dedicated leadership in Dr. Horacio Kaufman, the first Axelrod Professor of Dysautonomia Research as the director of the NYU Dysautonomia Center. He's well known to all of you, where we also have a full team of researchers and clinical staff. In addition to Dr. Kaufman, we have Associate Director Dr. Lucy Norcliffe Kaufman, our acute care nurse practitioner, Christy Spalling, um, and Erin Barnes, our family nurse practitioner, Dr. Alberto Palma, medical fellow, and Leanne Lug, who keeps all the balls in the air, along with many of the other staff at the center. Dr. Mikhail Kazachkov, Director of Pediatric Pulmonology at NYU School of Medicine, is one of the most committed of our affiliated doctors and will be speaking today. We are also deeply indebted to the ongoing contributions of our scientific advisory board, especially the dedication of our chair, Dr. Michael Brownstein, and, and Dr. Sue Slaugenhout at the MGH Center for Human Genetic Research. And we have with us today also Dr. Francis Lefcourt, distinguished professor and chair of the Department of Cell Biology and Neuroscience at Montana, Montana State University, who will be discussing her important ongoing research on FD with us today. We're also delighted to have in uh, the audience Adrian Gilbert, who is here from Teva Pharmaceuticals in Israel, and um, Aaron Maybach, who is introducing the FD Connect app, uh, along with other uh, presentations in the afternoon. <clears throat> Beyond our medical and research teams, we have devoted families, along with board members and staff, who sustain the foundation that supports the Dysautonomia Centers, both here and in Israel. None of this could happen without the dedicated fundraising of so many members of our board and the extended FD family, including the contributors to our social media and journal campaigns, as well as the extraordinary work of the Goldberger family, who sponsored the Gavin de Gras Gala at the Edison Ballroom in November, to Paul Wexler, Steve Fast, Steve Keats, and Rachel Schlau, who organized the annual FD Long Island Golf Classic. Uh, we have an upcoming Chicago Golf Classic. And additionally, we have increasingly resourceful siblings and cousins who have been getting, getting in on the action, inaugurating next generation events, um, most recently this past January with a flywheel fundraiser. Together, these efforts have brought in nearly $2 million this year alone, raising not only money, but also spirits and awareness. All are crucial to our mission of providing care for those with FD. So I want to take, thank all of you who make these events happen and to recognize as well the Foundation's Board of Directors who do so, so much of the work that is essential to the Foundation's ability to support the Treatment Center and our broader community. So before closing, a reminder that for the FD adults who are here, we have organized a dinner and a karaoke par party at the Global Center on NYU's Washington Square campus. Uh, you, anyone who wants to go, you should have gotten a flyer with information on front and back explaining how to get there. It's not very far, but just gives you the guidelines. And I especially want to thank uh, Christy Spalink and Leanne Lug for their work in organizing this event. Cars will be ready at 3.15 p.m. at the hospital entrance to take all those attending that event over to Washington Square. Recognizable from its appearance in many Hollywood films. Pick up from that locale is at 238 Thompson Street, just below Washington Square, and that will be at 6 p.m. 
Last but not least, I want to acknowledge with great gratitude the staff of the Dysautonomia Foundation. We are so deeply appreciative of the talented Lainey Etkin, who became our executive director this past September, and to our new staff, Daniel Carlisto, Elaine Vseda, as well as Lisa Demberg and Robin Landau, who have been invaluable in helping us through a very complex transition period. Thanks as well to the volunteers who help out at our many events, including today, they're outside helping, so they don't even know I'm thanking them. And now, it is my pleasure to invite Executive Director Lainey Etkin to the stage. Thank you.